This is Twit. So Glasswire is a live and historical view of the data being used by your phone separated through mobile and Wi-Fi. Dang so, it, Ron. This is a really good app. Keep going. Yeah, I know. So if you if you are concerned about how much data an app is using, if you think it's bleeding, you know, kind of data usage, or if you're if you're on a strict uh, mobile data plan and you want to be concerned about how much data you're using, you want to limit the apps that are eating up your data plan, this is the you need to install this app literally right now. Um, it will keep track once you install it of all your apps and how much data they're using while they're live. And as you can see here, as Jason's showing you, it separates. You can show mobile and Wi-Fi or just mobile or just Wi-Fi. <laughs> I, I switched to mobile and all my apps just went, okay, I want some. I want some data. <laughs> so I just started slurping. That's crazy. Yeah. And so, um, and it's got a series of alerts. It kind of, admittedly, when you set this up, it gets, it's kind of annoying and you need to adjust it. If you hit the hamburger menu, um, there are, and you can look at, uh, you can look at it a graph. You can look at the usage. You can monitor your data plan. But there's also that alerts tab, and that alerts tab basically will alert you every time an app is doing its first network activity, and then anytime if you set any uh, restrictions around it, if it's breaking that or whatnot. This can get annoying real quickly. So if you hit the hamburger menu on the right, and, oh, another double, another one on the right. Oh, double, that's not good. But anyway, hit settings, um, <laughs> and here you can here you can adjust the notifications, and and so you can turn off like. I don't need a, a, a notification or an alert every time I get first network activity. I expect network activity, that sort of thing. Um, but you can set the limit for your data plan limit, whether you're up to 90% of your data plan or if you want to dial it down. Um, you know, so just you know, basically, it's ways you can adjust it. There are ways to get it to the right notification level that you would want, um, and that's basically what it does. It just keeps track of how much data your your total phone is using, mobile and Wi-Fi, as well as individual uh, apps, and then you can set alerts for data limits. So if you want to change it to be when I'm at half of my data plan, or three gig, or five gig, or any sort of thing, you can set all those customized alerts to fit your um, your data needs. So it's free in the Google Play Store, and it's a must-have if you're on a limited uh, data plan. And I'll just go ahead and point out 1.5 gigs in the Google Play Store today, all courtesy of Juan's app, which I'll show yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a great app. It's called Glasswire. I really like it a lot. Yeah. Uh, very well designed too. I love all the animations and it's a uh, really, you know, kind of a stable, uh, environment and everything. A stable Android app? You don't say. <laughs> hey, you gotta call it out when you, when you find it. It's, it's no, very but I mean, pretty. That's just kind of a nice improvement over the, the sort of vague and general reporting that's actually built into Android for data usage. So yeah. 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 And especially kind friendly. of the live aspect, like you saw when I switched, when I turned off my Wi-Fi cause I hadn't activated my mobile, um, my mobile internet today, whatever, since I've been here, when I turned off that Wi-Fi, it suddenly lit up, lit up and immediately started kind of showing what my apps were doing with that mobile connection. Right I should away. have you install my apps. You're way better at selling them than I am. <laughs> By the way. Well, one thing to quickly note, it, it is a nice design, but I did, I cringed. And if we can go back to the product shot on it and Flo, we talked about this over yes. social, social, but uh, go hit the hamburger menu on the left. And then uh, hit uh, hit alerts. So you see, it adds another three dot yeah. menu on the right. Oh my god! Overflow. So I was yeah. literally so a, a very prominent bank app has this as well, but prevalent throughout the entire app. It actually has two menus: uh, a three line hamburger menu and a three dot hamburger menu. I and I was actually bank. literally out with someone who works at that bank in their design, like doing app design, and I was just like, look at this. This is wrong, and I just totally lectured him on it. <laughs> so yeah, I, went, I went a little material design crazy on somebody. So there you go. <laughs>